Hey guys, Flaming Super Panda here with my next video in my Binvox and Vivox tutorial series. And today we're going to be looking at TurboSquid, which is the website you can download 3D models to use with Binvox and Vivox. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open your web browser and go to TurboSquid.com. I'll put a link in the description. There is also a link in the description of the previous video. Once you're there, you're going to want to set up an account so that you can download um, so that you can download models. I already have an account, so I'm not going to go through that. It's pretty straightforward. If you scroll down, you'll see all the different categories of models that you can choose from. For now, we're going to click on architecture and look through these. Now, when you're looking through models, the ones I used commonly are ones that say obj, which is an object file, dot obj, or blend, because that's with Blender, which is a 3D modeling program that I use. But if you have 3D Max or any of the other programs that you can export it as an obj, you can download those as well. But for these purposes, I'm just going to pick an obj file and show you how it works. Um, let's see. Just do this light bulb. Can look through it, see how it was made if you would like. Download it. Download the OBJ file. And now you're going to want to open it in your downloads folder and move it into the folder that you say that you have binvox and vivox in. First, I'm going to rename this so that it's nice and short. And just move it into models or wha whatever you named your folder in the previous video. So now, once again, we're going to want to type Windows sign run and type CMD to open a command prompt and change our path. If you don't know how to do this, it's in the previous video. Okay. So once that is changed, we're going to do what we did in the other video and we're going to make a model of our light bulb. Hopefully this works. It is a round object so we'll see how it, how it turns out. Not all the models will look how you expect them to. You have to mess with it to get it right. Just wait for it to analyze. One thing I should mention is Binvox always makes a hollow model unless you tell it not to. So that so there it'll be a completely hollow once you finally build it unless you fill it in, of course. So we're going to want to open our Binvox file and here's our light bulb. It is rather large, but um click a and each color is a separate square look at it from the top in single slices and you can see that these are each layer that you're going to want to build so if you had minecraft open right now you would start with this layer and build each individual square that it shows you and keep going out until you get to the very top and you'll have your model. It's pretty straightforward. The light bulb is one of the easier ones to build, but it is round, so it is rather large to make it look round. You could mess with the coding when you first turned it into a binvox file. 
and make it smaller. It won't look as good as the large version, but it will take up less space and considerably less time to build. So that's one benefit. That's basically it for Turbo Squid. There are paid memberships, and those you can, yeah, it you can just do more things. And some of the models I'm going to mention, some of the models do cost a lot of money, but they are, those are the more high quality 3D objects, which are not necessary, but if you were going to build something like this, which is Red Square in Moscow, if you were going to build something like this, making it a voxel file would make it a lot easier to build. But it is very costly. So, Alright, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. I will be releasing a video of my creations soon. And once again, thanks for watching, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe.